Hi there, Maureen from Color Me Positive PLR here, and I just want to do a short tutorial on how to use the U Fill It PNG files with the birds. Also, I'll show you how to use one of the backgrounds with a file that a quote file you might have gotten from Creata Fabrica or, or another place. So I hope this gives you some ideas on how to put this package to work for you. Okay, so you, I'm going to do this in PowerPoint uh, because it's really simple. And we'll start with doing a fill in one of the birds. Okay, so what you're wanna, going to want to do is go to Insert Pictures from this device and you just navigate to wherever you've uh, put your your files. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to choose one of the birds so well, let's choose this guy and if you want to choose two files or more you can just click on the file you want then hold down your control key and click on the next one and it will put them both in for you okay and this worked out well because the bird see is on top click outside uh, on top of the pattern Okay, so let's just line up the pattern, and then when you put the U fill it PNG file over it, there you have a bird with a pattern in it. Now, this is going to be better for an adult, right, coloring book, because it's a little more complicated. If you don't have the pattern, this is a great uh, coloring page for a child because it has big coloring spaces and makes it simple. They're not frustrated by it. Whereas if they had to color this, uh, they might just color over the whole thing anyway. Okay. So with this file, okay, make sure you have your selection pane up when you're working on, uh, on uh, these kinds of things, because you want to move the background like right here. I want to move the background, but it's just going to keep going in the foreground so you want to be able to select what you want to move so if you go to picture format you'll see selection pane and just click on that and it'll show you the layers that you have so when I want to work on the pattern I just click on there and then I make sure I just work with these things so you can actually make the pattern smaller so that will make it a little bit more detailed as well. You can turn the pattern if you say want to do this. You like it that way better. Okay. Now, if the pattern sticks out because of what you're doing with it, you can make it smaller, but then it might be too small, right? For to col actually color in. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. And I like the way that looks. Okay. Now, instead of squashing it in, because you're going to have to, and then it'll, see if you do this, it distorts the picture, right? Although I kind of like that. Uh, but if you don't want to distort the picture, you're going to use the crop tool. Okay. So I'm going to hide the bird for now and work on this layer. So what you want to do is go over to crop. Okay, that's on your picture format, crop, and you'll get these black triangular things here as well as here. So I want to crop this in. So I'm just going to pull that over, and I know it's good there. Or actually, no, I don't want to do that, because I just want to bring it in. So I'm just going to pull it in, and then pull it in from over here. See, it doesn't distort anything. And then I'm going to click on crop. And now we've got our image and nothing sticking out the sides. OK, so let's do that again. So I'm going to go to insert new slide. Just get rid of this. OK, so go to insert pictures. And let's see, let's do this one. 
and I'll pick another bird. Let's do that one. Oh, I only brought one in. Okay, so let's go back and get a pattern. Okay, now this is on top. We want it behind the bird. So you're going to go to picture format, send backwards, send to back. Okay, now you have your pattern behind the bird. And again, I think I'm going to make this a bit smaller. Pull it up. And I kind of like that. And I don't have to do anything with it. I just leave it like that. And there's a really kind of cool adult coloring page that adults would be happy to color. Okay. Now, I did want to show you uh, something to do with Okay, let's just insert a new slide so we can work on that. Maybe using the backgrounds, okay? Because you don't always have to just use backgrounds with the characters they come with. You can think outside the box a little bit. So I'm going to pull up a background image that I have. Where is it? Let's use this one, okay? So I like this, but I will... I wouldn't mind using it for like an inspirational quote coloring page, say, okay? So I'm going to pull in a quote. And you can get these quotes at Creative Fabrica, Design Bundles, uh, or wherever you get them from. Thing is, when you're working in PowerPoint, you, you'll get like the PNG file. So let's just try that first, okay? So this is kind of cool. And let's see. Well, first, let me just make it a bit smaller. And see, I don't want these clouds in there. So what I'm going to do is go to Insert, Shapes, just pull up the rectangle, and then just come over it and go to Shape Format, F Shape Fill, White, Shape Outline, No Outline. Okay, and now because I don't want to deal with this and move it around, I'm going to click on, okay, the rectangle, hold down your control key and click on the uh, background, see how it, it has it there, and then I'm going to come over to shape format, group, okay, so it makes it one image, so I don't have to worry about m displacing that rectangle. Now, this has come forward, so you want to send that to the back now, okay? And there you have it. So, I mean, this is kind of a cool page. You could use it as a journal cover or, you know, that kind of thing. But if you want to make it a coloring page, uh, let's see. Click on your thing, go to Picture Format, and go to Color. You can make it grayscale if you're uploading it to uh, KDP because you you don't want to make it color, right? So we could do that, but with the PNG, you're pretty limited, right? So what I want to show you is how to use the SVG files that come, oops, wrong one, that come with your usually come anyway with the quotes, right? So you're going to get the PNG file, which is great, but you also get what looks like uh, an AI file, uh, Illustrator file, but it's SVG. So just drag that in to your PowerPoint, okay? So you're going to get this. I'm going to make it smaller so it's a bit easier to work with, okay? Now what you can do with these files is awesome. If you have, you need the latest version though of PowerPoint to use this. Uh, so you're going to click on that, go to graphics format, and then you're going to come over here and go convert to shape. Right? And then once you've converted it to a shape, all right, you can play with it. I mean, you can actually, if you want to make it a coloring book thing, I think you can convert that to white see now it disappears but if you put a shape outline around it black there you have your coloring images right 
So that makes it simple. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with it. Okay. Um, you can actually fill it with, I don't know if you can fill it with red. No, you can fill it with red if you want to do a color thing or, you know, so you can go from there. Um, if you want to do the individual letters, okay, which might be kind of cool. I'm just going to take it all the way back to there. You can click on it and then come over to shape format group and ungroup and you see all this each one of those is separate so you can actually click on each one and let's say I want to make this green and then I want to make this one how blue you know so this is really a lot of fun to do especially if you're doing color images uh, to, for your Etsy shop or your own shop right so you can do that and go from there so totally up to you it's just one way to kind of think outside the box for your coloring pages and other things so I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can use this coloring package and we'll talk soon mm -hmm.